The Adriatic Campaign of World War I was a naval campaign fought between the Central Powers and the Mediterranean squadrons of Great Britain, France, the Kingdom of Italy, Australia and the United States. Characteristics <laughs> 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 First World War naval action in the Adriatic consisted mainly of Austro-Hungarian bombardments of Italy's eastern coast, and wider-ranging German and Austro-Hungarian submarine forays into the Mediterranean. Allied forces mainly limited themselves to blockading the Central Powers navies in the Adriatic, which was successful in regards to surface units, but failed for the U-boats, which found safe harbors and easy passage into and out of the area for the whole of the war. Considered a relatively secondary part of the naval warfare of World War I, it nonetheless tied down significant forces. The Adriatic Campaign was also important because for the first time two new weapons were used successfully in warfare, viz., the Moss torpedo boat of Luigi Rizzo that sank the battleship Sent Istvan and the human torpedo of Raphael Rossetti that sank the battleship SMS Viribus Unities in 1918. History 1914 Beginning of the war On 6 August 1914 an Anglo-French naval agreement was signed, giving France leadership of naval operations in the Mediterranean. The remaining British Mediterranean forces, one armoured cruiser, four light cruisers, and 16 destroyers, were placed under the control of the French Mediterranean fleet, and bases at both Gibraltar and Malta were opened to the French. One day after the French declaration of war against Austria-Hungary on the 11th of August, a French fleet under Admiral Augustin Bouet de la Perere arrived at Malta. He had orders to sail with all available French and British ships, pass into the Adriatic Sea, and undertake whatever operations he thought best against Austrian ports. Le Perrier decided to surprise Austrian vessels in forcing a blockade of Montenegro. The main Allied force comprised the French battleships Corbett and Jean Bart, and the cruiser Jurien de la Gravière. Two French squadrons of pre-dreadnoughts, two squadrons of cruisers, and five destroyer squadrons were held back in support. The British support group comprised two armoured cruisers and three destroyer divisions. The Anglo-French force succeeded in cutting off and sinking the old Austro-Hungarian light cruiser SMS Zenta off Bar on 16 August in the Battle of Antivari. Throughout most of late August most of the action was simple bombardment of Serbian and Montenegrin troops by Austrian ships. On 9 August, the pre-dreadnought SMS Monarch shelled the French radio station at Boudva, while the destroyer SMS Panther shelled Mount Loveson. On 17 August, Monarch shelled a Montenegrin radio station off Bar, then another station off Volovica Point on 19 August. Meanwhile, a French squadron shelled Austrian troops on Prevlaka. The French and Montenegrin forces attempted to cause havoc also at Kataro in September, October and November 1914, and the Kuk Navy was called in there also, resulting in a decisive defeat for the Allies. Both the French and the Austrians spent much of this time laying extensive minefields throughout the shallow waters of the Adriatic. Mostly this was done by destroyers, and at night. 
Several steamships ran afoul of these mines and either sunk or were damaged. The Goben In July, the German battlecruiser SMS Goben sailed to Trieste from Pola. She and the German cruiser SMS Breslau had been anchored there since the beginning of the summer. On 1 August, Goben and Breslau rendezvoused at Brindisi, then headed for Messina to take on coal. They left for Constantinople on 6 August, shadowed by the British cruiser HMS Gloucester. On 7 August, an Austro-Hungarian fleet, consisting of six battleships, two cruisers, and 19 destroyers and torpedo boats, sortied from Pola to escort Goben and Breslau through Austro-Hungarian territorial waters, returned to port following day without ever making contact. Goben and Breslau briefly engaged HMS Gloucester and the chase was abandoned by the British. By 10 August, both German warships were safely in the Dardanelles and heading for Turkey. Topic. Winter In November, the French submarine Cugno managed to slip into the Bac di Cataro as far as Topla Bay but was chased out by the Austrian destroyer SMS Blitz, and the torpedo boat TB-57T. Later that month, the French submarine Curie raided the harbour barrage of Pola to wait for her chance to intrude. Two days later, on 20 December, during an attempt to sneak into the harbour she got entangled in an anti-submarine net and could not free herself. Forced to surface for fresh air, she was sunk by the Austrian destroyer SMS Magnet and TB-63T, with three casualties. The Austrians raised the wreck between December 1914 and February 1915. It was then repaired and commissioned as U-14 in June 1915. On 21 December, the submarine U-12 scored one torpedo hit on the French battleship Jean Bart off Saison Island. The battleship had to withdraw to Malta for extensive repairs. Topic. 1915. In February, the French destroyer Daig, while escorting the transport Whitehead to Bar, was sunk after hitting a mine. Also that month, the Austrian submarine U-12 was unsuccessfully attacked off Cape Mendra by a French submarine. Austrian destroyer SMS Sikos shelled Montenegrin positions at Bar with TB-15 and TB-68F. In April, the Austrian U-5, commanded by Lieutenant Georg Ritter von Trapp, chased the French armored cruiser Victor Hugo off Paxos, but was unable to fire any torpedoes. U-5 also torpedoed the French armored cruiser Léon Gambetta after a two-day chase off Santa Maria di Luca, causing 684 fatalities including Rear Admiral Senna's. Only 137 French sailors survived. The Austrian U-4 torpedoed and damaged the British light cruiser HMS Dublin. Also, the Austrian destroyer SMS Warasdener shelled enemy positions at Bar. <laughs> Bombardment of Ancona When Italy declared war on Austria-Hungary on 23 May, the Austrian fleet was quick to act, launching several attacks on the Marche region of Italy. That day, the destroyer Dinara and TB-53T bombarded the port of Ancona. The destroyer SMS Lika, on reconnaissance duty between Palagruza and Cape Gargano, 
shelled the semaphore and radio station at Vieste and fired upon the Italian destroyer turbine. On 24 May, the bulk of the Austrian fleet at Pola sailed for the Italian Adriatic coast. This included the dreadnoughts SMS Viribus Unities, Tegethoff, Prinz Eugen and eight semi and pre-dreadnoughts. The fleet bombarded several cities and other targets in and around the province of Ancona, especially damaging the port and town of Ancona itself. The destroyer SMS Velbit shelled the Italian airship Città di Ferrara off Ancona. The semi-dreadnought SMS Radetzky and two torpedo boats bombarded Potenza Piscina, then returned to Pola. The Radetzky class semi-dreadnought SMS Zarini, with two torpedo boats bombarded Senegalia, destroying a train and damaging a railway station and a bridge, then returned to Pola. The torpedo boat TB3 was unsuccessfully bombed by an Italian airship. The light cruiser SMS Admiral Spahn shelled the Italian signal station at Cretaccio Island, while the armoured cruiser SMS Sankt Georg—with two torpedo boats—shelled Rimini, damaging and derailing a freight train. The destroyer SMS Strader shelled the signal station near Torre di Mileto. The light cruiser SMS Novara, a destroyer and two torpedo boats entered Cursini Channel and shelled an Italian torpedo boat station, a semaphore station, and coastal artillery batteries. The light cruiser SMS Helgoland—aided by four destroyers, sank the Italian destroyer turbine in a pitched battle south of Pelagosa. The destroyer SMS Tatra shelled the railway embankment near Manfredonia while the destroyer SMS C. Seppel shelled the Manfredonia railway station. Finally, Austro-Hungarian flying boats dropped bombs on Venice and airship hangars at Caravalli. Topic. Allied raids In response, on 5 June, four different Allied task forces attacked the Austrian coast. Four Italian armoured cruisers, escorted by four French destroyers, shelled Cavta, the British cruiser HMS Dublin, escorted by five Italian destroyers. Shelled Donzella, the Italian light cruiser Quarto, escorted by four destroyers, bombarded Lestovo, the Italian light cruiser Nino Bixio, two Italian and two French destroyers shelled the island of Lissa. On the 9th of June, a mixed force of British, French, and Italian destroyers shelled the Austro-Hungarian signal station at Cape Rondini in Albania. The summer of 1915 The armoured cruiser SMS Sankt Georg and a squadron of torpedo boats bombarded Rimini on 16 June, causing minor damage. Then on 17 June, the cruisers SMS Novara, Admiral Spahn and their escorts attacked and sank the Italian steamer Maria Grazia off Giulianova. The next day, they shelled Rimini and Fano, destroying the Italian signal station there. The summer of 1915 was a successful time for Austrian submarines as well. On the 10th of June, U11 sank the Italian submarine Medusa and torpedo boat Serpent. U10 sank the Italian torpedo boat PN5 on June 26 off Venice. U4 torpedoed and sank the Giuseppe Garibaldi on the 18th of July, and U5 captured the Greek steamer Cephalonia off. Durazzo on August 29. But this was not without losses. 
On 13 August, U-3 was sunk at Brindisi by the French destroyer Bisson, after having been severely damaged by the Italian auxiliary cruiser Città di Catania the day before. The Austro-Hungarian naval air arm also began regular bombing raids against Bari and Brindisi in June, slightly damaging the British protected cruiser HMS Amethyst in one such raid with machine gun fire. And the British armed trawler Shehalyan was sunk by a mine. The Amalfi was sunk off Venice by the German submarine UB-14 on July 2. While the Italian scout cruiser Marsala shelled Gravosa Station on 18 July, the scout cruiser Quarto and three Italian destroyers attacked the Austrian installation at Ghipera. SMS Helgoland, seven destroyers and four torpedo boats supported an Austrian landing at Pelagosa on 28 July. The landing was repulsed by the Italian garrison, that had arrived in the island on July 11. On August 17 the light cruisers, Helgoland, Sahida, and several destroyers bombarded the island again. The water reservoir was severely damaged and the next day the Italians began the evacuation. On 17 August, one of the cruisers was unsuccessfully torpedoed by an Italian submarine on return journey. The last act of the summer was the sinking on 26 September of the Italian battleship Benedetto Brin in Brindisi Harbour by Italian-speaking Austro-Hungarian saboteurs. Over 450 were killed. In late September, the Allies established the Otranto Barrage, an attempt to blockade the entrance to the Adriatic Sea at the Strait of Otranto. <laughs> December In early December, the French submarine Fresnel ran aground off the Boyana River estuary due to bad navigation, and was sunk by the Austrian destroyer SMS Warasdener. The cruiser SMS Helgoland and three destroyers sortie against the Otranto barrage from 5 to 22 December and performed reconnaissance off the Albanian coast and San Giovanni di Medua. They sank an Italian picket boat, three steamships loaded with ammunition and two armed schooners en route to northern Albania. The light cruiser SMS Helgoland and five Tatra-class destroyers left Kataro and headed for Durazzo late on 28 December 1915. While on passage the French submarine Monge was rammed by the cruiser SMS Helgoland, and finally sunk by gunfire from the destroyer SMS Balaton. Early the next day, the Austrian squadron opened fire on Durazzo targets, sinking some small ships. Then they ran into a minefield. The destroyer Lika was sunk and Triglov was damaged. She was taken in tow and the Austrian force sailed slowly to north. An Allied force had already sailed from Brindisi, with the aim to intercept them. It was composed of the British light cruisers HMS Dartmouth and Weymouth, the Italian light cruisers RN Quarto and Nino Bixio and five French destroyers. In support of the retreating force, the Austrians dispatched the armoured cruiser SMS Kaiser Karl VI and the light cruiser Novara from Kataro. Early in the afternoon of 29 December, the forward Allied ships came into action with the retreating Austrian light squadron, which was still only halfway home. The Triglav was abandoned and scuttled and a long-range gunnery duel was fought throughout the afternoon. SMS Tatra was damaged but the Austrian light force was able to reach Kataro safely. Topic 1916 
Austrian submarines sank or damaged a number of ships in 1916. U-11 captured the Italian hospital ship King Albert on 18 January at San Giovanni di Madua. U-6 sank the French destroyer Renaudin on 16 March at Durazzo. On 8 June, U-5 torpedoed and sank the Italian troop transport Principe Umberto at Lingetta. Later, U-5 fought a French-Italian destroyer group to a stalemate on 2 August, and torpedoed the Italian Q-ship Pantelleria south of Taranto on August 14. On 15 September 1916, the two Austro-Hungarian seaplanes L.132 and L.135 forced the French submarine Foucault to surface by dropping bombs. L.135 finally sinks the sub while the 27 survivors were clinging to the two planes now floating, to be finally saved by the alarmed TB-100M. This was the first sinking of a submarine by airplanes in naval war history. The very same day, the French submarine Amper scored two torpedo hits on the Austro-Hungarian hospital ship No I the former Lloyd Steamer Electra off Cape Planca, Rat Plaka, causing two fatalities. The damaged hospital ship had to be beached in Borovica Bay for further repairs. On the night of 22-23 December, the Austro-Hungarian destroyers SMS Scharfschutz, Reka, Dinara and Velbit attacked the drifters patrolling the Otranto barrage, which applied for help to the French destroyers Casque, Protet, Commandant Riviere, Commandant Bori, De Horter and Boudif which were escorting a convoy from Brindisi to Taranto. Because of communication problems, only Cask and Commandant Riviere attacked, but Cask's boiler rooms were hit immediately and she had to slow down to 23 knots 43 km per hour, 26 miles per hour. For further assistance, the Italian destroyers Giuseppe Cesare Abba, Ippolito Nievo and Rosalino Pilo left Brindisi shortly followed by the British cruiser HMS Gloucester escorted by Impavido and Iraquieto. The French and Italian groups met during darkness, Giuseppe Cesare Abba rammed Cask, some moments later, Budif rammed Giuseppe Cesare Abba. While the damaged vessels had to be taken into tow, the Austrians escaped in the darkness. The return from the Otranto battle—15 May 1917 Brought the British cruiser HMS Dartmouth within the range of the UC-25 which had already laid mines off Brindisi. At 13.30, UC-25 torpedoed Dartmouth approximately 36 miles 31 nmi, 58 km off Brindisi. For some time the ship was considered to be lost, but was manned by a rescue crew later and finally towed into port. On hearing that Dartmouth had been torpedoed, Budif went to assist, only to hit one of UC-25's mines. Topic 1917. By August 1917, Lieutenant von Trapp and U-14 had sunk more than 24,000 long tons t of enemy shipping, including the Italian steamer Milazzo 11,480 long tons 11,660 t. U-4 torpedoed the French steamer Italia near Taranto on 30 May, and on 16 November U-43 severely damaged the Italian steamer Oriona between Brindisi and Valona. On the night of 9–10 December, while SMS Wien and Budapest were at anchor in Trieste, two Italian MOS motor torpedo boats managed to penetrate the harbour defences undetected and fired several torpedoes at the two ships. 
Ween was struck by two torpedoes and sank in less than five minutes with the loss of 46 of her crew. Topic: The Premuda attack. At 3:30 on the morning of the 10th of June 1918, the battleship SMS sent Istvan in the company of SMS Tegethoff and seven other ships en route to attack the Otranto barrage, was seen by chance and then hit by two torpedoes launched from the Italian Moss 15-motor torpedo boat under Corvette Captain Luigi Rizzo near Premuda Island, near Zara. Many of the 1,087 crew were asleep, getting rested for the battle expected in a few hours. Immediate chaos soon changed into frantic efforts to save the vessel which was rapidly shipping water. SMS Tegethoff was hit by another torpedo from a second Moss, but it did not explode. Then Tegethoff, which had at first sped away from the vicinity of the torpedo attack, returned and took Sent Istvan in tow, in an attempt to reach the massive dry dock at Pula. However, the pumps were unequal to the task before them due to loss of steam pressure and the ship continued to slowly list, sinking at 6.12, almost three hours after being hit. It is debated that faults in the Tegethoff class design, relatively low displacement and high center of gravity, together with the weight of 12 305 mm 12 in main artillery, did not assist matters. However, most other battleships in the Great War which were either torpedoed or mined sank far more rapidly. There were, however, only 89 dead, partly attributed to the fact that all sailors with the KU.K. had to learn to swim before entering active service. The attack on the Otranto barrage was cancelled as a consequence of this attack. Topic nineteen eighteen On the thirteenth of February, the submarine Bernouilli Audrey was lost with all hands after hitting a mine off the Bac di Cataro. On 22-23 April, the Austro-Hungarian Tatra class destroyers SMS Triglov, SM Uzsak, SMS Dukla, SMS Lika and SMS C. Seppel encountered the British destroyers HMS Jackal and Hornet, the Australian HMAS Torrens and the French Cimitaire. HMS Hornet was badly damaged in the ensuing fight but the alarm went up and the Austrians turned for home, pursued by Jackal, who had lost her mainmast. On 20 September, the French submarine Circe was torpedoed 7 nmi 13 km, 8.1 miles northwest of Cape Redoni by the Austro-Hungarian submarine U-47 and lost with all hands. Topic. Second Battle of Durazzo On 2 October, an Allied fleet composed of Italian, British, Australian and American warships attacked the port of Durazzo, in Albania, but which was under Austro-Hungarian occupation, during the Second Battle of Durazzo. The fleet consisted of over 55 vessels along with Moss boats and supporting aircraft. Allied forces destroyed Austro-Hungarian shore batteries and defeated a small squadron of patrol craft while sustaining comparatively light damage. Durazzo was left in flames, several building, bridges and railroad targets were bombarded which forced the evacuation of the city. A week or so after the battle an Allied army occupied the city without resistance. <inaudible> Sinking of the Viribus Unities 
On 1 November, the ex-Austro-Hungarian dreadnought flagship SMS Viribus Unities was sunk—along with the merchant ship Wien both at anchor at Pula by limpet mine attached by the crew of an Italian Magnata human torpedo. The Magnata was the precursor of the human torpedo and was invented by Major of Naval Engineers Raphael Rossetti. The whole Austrian Navy was at the time being transferred to the new state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs, but the Italian attackers had not been informed. Austro-Hungarian submarines results Many Austro-Hungarian and German U-boats operated out of the Adriatic for the whole of the war. Due to lack of cooperation of the Allies in the Mediterranean control zones, and the late institution of the convoy system, U-boats experienced substantial success throughout the first war years, K, U, K. Kriegsmarine submarines sunk 117 ships during World War I, with the total of 220,121 long tons 223,653 t. The most well-known casualties were Leon Gambetta Giuseppe Garibaldi Nareed Renaudan Fouche Impetuoso Nembo HMS Phoenix Sir Kialso, the KUK Kriegsmarine submarines damaged the following ships Jean Bart HMS Dublin Sakari HMS Weymouth Topic See also Mediterranean naval engagements during World War I Otranto Barrage